Hey guys, it's Heather with Create Again. In this video, I'm creating a sloth. I'll be using a few different type techniques, um, which will be a swipe and injection styled, and they're all controlled. So, thanks for watching. Okay, guys, so I just did the outline of the tree or the branch. I have um, some antique white and um, so it's antique white mixed with a little bit of white, it was a little too dark, and two drops of silicone. So this is about a tablespoon, or two, I think it's two tablespoons of paint. Uh, this is going to be the swipe color. So I'm just going to mix that up a little bit. I'm going to put this brown in here. This is only sped up ten times and very few um, spots so that you may see the instructions so you can recreate something similar to this. You can find a photo that you want to recreate on Pixabay. Put a little bit of gray in here. Just a metallic gray. Fill in these spots. here with a little bit of black in a couple of spots. Okay. Now this is my swipe color. I'm gonna put it over here. And again, right here, and here, and a little bit here. And actually, at the moment, I don't have any paperboard, so I'm going to use this piece of plastic. Oh, it looks great already. Oh, yeah. So I'm just going to kind of inject it in the background a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of black on the outside. worth mentioning that I used that heavy piece of plastic to swipe with. I don't know if you've seen one of my previous videos where I test out uh, swipe tools and I found the paperboard works the best but I did not test that heavy plastic and it worked great as you can tell so uh, be sure to go back and look at that video and then also just uh, remember that the heavy piece of plastic works as well. Um, as you'll see, the branch will dry, I'll let it dry completely, and then I start working on the sloth. It makes things a lot easier. Um, sometimes I do both, but this, I'm glad I waited. I've done the branch, um, the tree branch, and now I'm going to start on the sloth and just outlining him in some, um, just some white. And of course, this is Floetrol Mixed. It is fluid acrylic um, painting, so um, I will leave my mixture down in the description below. So his little arm is going to go out in this general area. I don't want to just draw on the um, tree branch itself. I did a little bit in um, chalk, but you know, with the white, you just can't really see that. So. 
excited to outline and, and like this. I think I want him to reach back a little bit further. So I want his head right here. He's kind of leaning back and looking over his shoulder. And so, yeah, right here. He's gonna swing back out a bit. be long enough, but let's do a little bit longer, and then he's got his other leg right here, coming down, so before I get too much involved in his body, um, arm. So, he's going to come up here and his claws are going to be in this general area. Same with his leg. And I'm not going to go too far. Okay. My dog is going nuts down there because my son's home today sick. And he does not like to be in the kennel. He wants to be played with all of the time. I'm just spreading out a base coat here um, and make sure whatever you put on the canvas first although I did prime this and I put you know, I think I gessoed it uh, make sure whatever paint you put down first has no silicone in it because it will resist the canvas and you'll have these big cracks on the canvas or not really cracks but basically blank spots um, so just make sure you put your silicone um, mixture on top of regular paint You can watch more of my animal paintings um, by subscribing. I've been doing a lot of those lately and you can also go back and look at um, my elephant. Um, I've done an owl. So you're bound to found, find something, some little animal that you may like. Um, if you want to see how I created those, um, please go back and I'll try to link some in the des um, description box, but you can subscribe as well. Um, just make sure you hit that bell. Thanks. this much silicone in here but uh, it is what it is now so I just have to kind of go around it and um, figure out what I'm gonna do otherwise let's go with the black starting here If you've decided to skip ahead, 
Um, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you've liked what you've seen. Um, you can also find me on createagain.com. And lastly, I have other videos that you can check out of animals being creative as well as meditative videos. So thanks for watching. So again, um, I'm not sure why my camera keeps getting hot and cutting off. I've got to figure that out. I don't know if it's the battery or what. So, um, okay, be still. So I'm nearly finished. Uh, I think what worked best was filling these little bottles um, with the, the fine point and making the hairs. Um, it's still got a little bit to do. I need to do the feet and then the claws. Um, but yeah, I'm just going in here and uh, filling the, doing an injection background so we can have a little bit of sway to him. I like when the, the little wispies come off, and especially for the hair, it makes it, it's like perfect, works perfectly. Um, his bottom looks a little um, narrow, so I'm going to make him come down a bit. He is kind of being camouflaged into the branch, but in reality, that's kind of how they look. So um, this is a, a realism, I guess, um, in a very fluid um in a loose way. Let's fill him in a little bit right here. Yeah, I think he needs um I had to narrow down his head too. His head went up a little bit too much. It just didn't, you know, they're kind of flat headed. They're not, it's not real round. So that helped too. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work him down here a little bit. And work it back in there. This leg down here is just kind of in a shadow or a shade, rather. Um, so I'm not going to put much detail into that. This can be scooted over. It's a little too much. I think right in here. And I'll add some color to him. Um, this like antique white is really doing well with his features so I'm just gonna it's been a little tricky because I don't want it to have that point or that big like blob basically Quickly, so let me make some sh very straight lines. Uh, nope. I'm gonna have to come in here like this. So my plan is to, um, next time, to do a sloth in lots of colors. I think that'll be fun. So make sure you um, look out for that. And also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it this far. And you can also find me on createagain.com. Thanks for watching.
Oh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I tried to get all of this on camera. Again, my camera keeps cutting off, so um, I used a lot for the um, sloth were these nice little tiny fine tipped um, squeeze bottles. Um, they're actually called uh, Leo Bro. I think I'm pretty sure I got them from Amazon. I can link them down below. Um, so yeah, he was mostly just constantly um, to get the hairs um, just added in there. And so yeah, if you have any questions uh, down below because I didn't get it, please feel free to ask and I'll do my best to um, answer questions if you have any. And I really appreciate you watching. You can also um, find me on createagain.com and I'm on Instagram under create again as well. And I post at least twice a week. So um, again, just leave me a message if you have any questions. And um, thank you for your patience and thanks for watching.